Hi guys, Karina Gardner here, and today I'm going to show you how to put together these um, flower bouquets. They're can they're called candy bar bouquets in the Silhouette Shop, and you can see that they just easily perch on top of a candy bar. So you can tape it down, glue it down, um, but it makes a really simple item or gift much more festive. There are a lot of pieces in each one of them and you can take a look at them here. Mostly uh, I just want you to get a sense for what all you can do with it. You don't have to use all the pieces in every single one of these but you can if you want to. Uh, the main card area is three inches by six inches so you can scale that up or down depending on how big your candy bar is. Um, I've got kind of a larger uh, in a box type um, bar so uh, it's a little a little nicer I guess um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put together my um, the butterfly bouquet there are two um, episodes of this I'm going to show you how to put together one of them today and then next week you'll also be able to see one with the rosette uh, version and see a few more of these because they're so fun to make and to give okay so let's get started the first thing is sorry it's going to take me a second to get these all out And just so you know, I am using these as my teacher gifts this year. So um, every single one of them comes with a card for your background. You can see mine right here. Um, and then several pieces. And I've started putting some of them together just for the sake of being able to put them together quickly for, um, for this video. So there are a lot of pieces and you just have to make a decision about how you want to place them and how you want to use them. Technically, you could take a piece like this, this flower that I've done, and you can um, separate them out and do like several flowers instead of bunching them all together the way I have. But I'm going to show you how to put together just one of these. Um, what I've done is I have six of these darker pink pieces. You can see three large, three small. And then I have... Um, some inner pieces. I have three inner pieces as well. And you could break these up. You could have technically six flowers out of this and put them all on top. That's why I like this because you can kind of mix and match and make it look the way you want it to. So what we're going to do is I like to first finger press the middle of each petal just like this. And then I like to push the petals up like that. Okay, and I'm going to do that to all of these larger ones really quick. And we'll press them all together once they're glued together. And then you're going to glue them by just placing a dot of glue. I'm using hot glue today. And doing them so that the petals don't match up so that they're they're a little bit off and another dot of glue and once again doing it off now I don't like those to be perfect either I kind of have them all mix and matchy so that they're off like a real flower would be okay and then same thing we're going to do the little ones now and um, you can finger press each one of those individual petals if you want. I think it brings it and gives it a lot more dimension. Um, I'm doing this kind of quick right now, so I'm not going to do that. And then glue them so that they're just ever so slightly off. Okay, and then we're going to glue that to the center here. All you need is a little dab of that glue. And then you can see you get quite the rosette. Now if you kind of play with them, you can get all of those petals to really show and you get a nice big full flower. So every one of these sets have different flowers in them, so you kind of just need to gauge how thick, how big, how much you want to put in each one of those petals. And then for these star ones, I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm just going to finger press them so that they're all kind of going up just like that. And then I'm just going to place a little dab of glue in the center. 
And you could leave it like that. It's not like you need all these extra layers. I just like the extra layers because I think they look so fun. And then off center that. And then the last one in the center. There you go. Okay, so now it's a matter of placement. I'm going to do mine a little off center like this, okay? And then I've got all these cute little purple flowers to go around it, and you can see that I've just put a little pearl in the middle of those. You could also put a little pearl in the middle of those larger flowers if you wanted to. And I'm just finger pressing each of these little purple flowers together so that they are three-dimensional. All right, now if you have any butterflies in your candy bar bouquet, and not all of them do, many of them have lots of different things, but the butterflies I just press up like that. And um, you, if you'll remember the ones I showed you at the beginning, there are quite a few that have like, let me just show you, like pieces like this and pieces like this, and I'm gonna show you how to bring them up so that they are 3D. Okay, so normally I would say usually you'd put your leaves on first, right? But I actually I'm not sure how this is all going to lay out. I kind of make it up as I go. So I'm going to glue the two center flowers first because I know that those are going to be kind of in the center here, just like that. And then I start working on leaves and purple flowers. So um, the other thing we can do is we can put these big butterflies right in the center or on the side. I think because I have one where the butterflies are in the center of the flower, I'm probably going to do this and have these butterflies show up to the sides of these flowers. And actually, let's start putting in some of these purple ones just to start filling it in. I like working my way out here. I say just take your big flowers, start somewhere in the middle, and then just start working your way out. And I always do the big swirly things, the swirly type things, I do those last. Let's see, I'm not sure where I'm putting that other butterfly yet. Let's keep going with these. And you can see I have a couple of different sizes of leaves here. That actually really helps and brings in so much dimension. It also helps fill in the space. There are some you saw where there is so many pieces, like so many pieces, and not all of them have that many pieces. So you just kind of have to decide how thick you want it to look, you know, how much stuff you want on it. Because of course this one could be filled out even more if we had pulled apart these and didn't do really heavy florets. All right. Kind of coming to the end here. You can see how creative you could get with this. You can see I just finger press those leaves. I can't remember if I already said to do that or not. Do it, it makes it look good. And maybe even one here somewhere in the middle, just like that. Okay, I have hot glue string all over this thing. And I just rhymed, and I did not mean to do that either. Okay, so I've got this all kind of situated down. Look how beautiful that looks, just so fun. 
And then I've got a few of these great little pieces that cut out so beautifully on your silhouette machine. Okay, so you could technically lay these flat and they would be beautiful, but I like the way these look when they are used three-dimensionally. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a little glue on a couple of different places. I'm just gonna tuck it in and have them sit up and glue it in kind of fun little places. I just think it makes for such a cool looking piece. Making your silhouette art. Isn't that awesome looking? Many of them have some kind of fern. Some of them I have them just sticking straight out. Some of them I have going up and down the way you see here. It is completely your choice and how you want to make them look. And then you would just tape this entire piece onto your, uh, your candy bar. So that's it. That's how you put together one of my um, candy bar bouquets. You can find these all in my silhouette shop. Make sure and check the, um, the description to get the link to my shop so you can pick one of these up. And make sure and comment below. I'd love to know which is your favorite one um, and what you're using them for. I'm using mine for teacher gifts, but um, these could be really cool gifts for just about anything. Thanks so much, and I'll see you later.